Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A quiet Sunday so far. More chances of showers and thunderstorms will be popping up into the area as we go throughout the rest of the day, but so far things are decently quiet across the Mid-South. If you're heading out pretty soon, we'll be back till later. Go ahead and take the umbrella with you. Fog was a big concern early this morning, but most of that, by the time you watch that, has been burning off into the Mid-South area, so visibility should be improving over the course of the next several hours. If you're just watching this early Sunday morning, your call on the coffee temperature index for the day. Cool today. Definitely want to get something to chill you off because we'll be looking at some warm conditions out there. Just cool enough this morning for a hot cup of Java. But once again, rem remember your temperature concern your business. If you burn your taste buds, that's your mistake, not ours. So just make it certain you know about that. Less than about four, five days to go. Four days and change as we go throughout the next couple of days, winding down summer and heading into the next season heading toward the equinox and looking at some very warm temperatures out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Nothing to report in the way of any earthquakes across the Mid-South, so good news on there. For about the last 24 hours, we've seen no problem in and around the area. A couple more earthquakes over toward the area close to around Oklahoma, and nothing big happening throughout the rest of the world that we felt here in the Mid-South, so nothing to report within the last 24 hours or so. Mississippi River looking at the view from the tower cam, showing a bit of a drop on the level at the Mississippi here in Memphis, and then rising a bit as we head into Wednesdays. More showers and thunderstorms come down across parts of the area in the upper Midwest, draining on down the channel into the Memphis area. Mineral wells, a little bit of cloud cover mixed with the sunshine, bit of a half cam this morning from Tim B's webcam on the Weather Underground system. Rhodes College, a little bit of some areas of fog this morning, but otherwise not seeing too much in the way of anything involving a lot of visibility problems out there. So definitely good news on that. Temperatures early this morning back in the lower 70s so far. So if you have any plans for travel, that's where we're seeing again some a little bit of the problems across much of the Mid-South into around the area for early this morning. So for today, not doing too bad early on, but uh, hopefully clearing up by just a little bit. You can see some of that fog out there on the track and field cam from the Ole Miss campus. A lot quieter today than what there was about 24 hours ago with the game set up and the festivities going on on the Ole Miss campus early this morning. Air quality in the Mid-South expected to be on the good or green side for today according to the Air Quality Index from the Environmental Protection Agency and the National Weather Service and looks like if the forecast is correct should be around the good quality for air into tomorrow as well. Could always be worse on the temperatures, 92 degrees for a high in Memphis, 17 degrees below the national high, at least it wasn't as close on Friday where we got up to 98 degrees and temperature in Death Valley, we were just about nine degrees below that where we set a record high and a record high low temperature on Fridays and into Saturday, some very warm conditions as well. For yesterday, high temperature again, 92, well above where we should be. 84 is our normal high temperature in Memphis for this time of the year. 64 degrees, our normal low. 73 is where we were yesterday. So as you can see with 73 and 92, we were well above normal. Fractions of an inch of rainfall for the day yesterday, which brings us down to just about an inch or so less than what we should be for this time of the month. Well over a foot of rainfall above normal for 2016. We are at 50 inches and just a little bit of a fraction of an inch over that. Normally we should be at 37 inches. So we're doing quite good on rainfall out there, which means that burn bans in the Mid-South, not seeing any problem out there as fire danger at this time is very low. Vegetation has a lot of moisture in it, so no problems with burn bans out there. Moon for today, it will be again around waning gibbous as it rises later on this evening at 8.36 p.m. and will be setting at 9.52 tomorrow morning. Moonrise again tomorrow night will be at 9.19 p.m. Losing daylight steadily as we head closer and closer closer to the equinox, 12 hours, 16 minutes today, 12 hours, 14 minutes as we get into tomorrow, so less and less sunshine out there. Rest of the forecast through the day into this early morning, midday hours back into the upper 70s to lower 80s. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will be popping up across parts of the Mid-South. Looking back toward the west of us, 
seeing a better possibility of showers and thunderstorms into around portions of central Arkansas well back to the west of us. Now much of this out here should not be really a problem for us in the Mid-South. We could be looking at some of that activity drifting into the Mid-South and regenerating as we go a little bit closer toward Sunday evening around News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6. And into the rest of the evening, again, chances of showers and thunderstorms may linger through News Channel 3 at 10 and right around midnight as well, leaving the area into early tomorrow morning. Daybreak on the air at 4.30 a.m. with Todd Demers' complete forecast. And as of right now, lows tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid-60s not looking too cool across much of the area. Seven day forecast, wish we could call it cool, but it's not going to be that way. Mid to upper 80s for later on today with numbers again well above normal for this time of the year and staying above normal as we get into Monday. No rainfall expected on Monday. At least that's the way it looks like right now. A little bit drier air in place that's going to get rid of some of the clouds and the chances of rainfall. So with more sunshine comes more heat and it'll be staying very warm as we get into around Tuesday. Temperatures back in the lower 90s. Last day of summer is Wednesday. First day of autumn is Thursday. And temperatures again way above normal for this time of the year. So that hot weather will be continuing. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will be with us as we return to the area into and around Friday and Saturday. Doesn't look like much right now, but that chance of showers and thunderstorms will be continuing into much of the Mid South over the next several days. Now, here's the interesting thing as we get into around the early portions of Tuesday, that's where we see the possibility of maybe some much cooler conditions coming our direction back into the lower 80s for highs. Now that would be rather nice. The only trouble is with a forecast like this, a 7 to 10 day forecast, a lot of things can change into the course of the day following day and that again is something we need to watch out for over a period of time. You can't tune in on Sunday and expect it to be the same by next next Tuesday. So this forecast, yes it could change, but if it doesn't, things could be again looking much nicer. We'll have have another burst of heat again through the week and hopefully again some much more palatable temperatures as we go toward next Tuesday. Want to help out with volunteering in the Mid-South? by becoming a Skywarn spotter, a spotter, not a chaser, mind you. If you'd like to volunteer for that, you need to be trained, and if you would like to be trained, there'll be plenty of meetings coming up across the Mid-South in the next several weeks. The next one coming up Monday, tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Carothersville Public Library in Carothersville, Missouri. That's at 707 West 13th Street, taught by the meteorologists and personnel of the National Weather Service in Memphis. Lasts about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many questions you've got. Kids are welcome. I've seen storm spotters as young as eight years old. Good opportunity for kids interested in science to learn more about this and a great opportunity for older kids to get trained for this, which looks awfully good on a resume to show that they've done a little bit of work for the community and have been willing to help out on that. Also, the Memphis Airport will need some help with volunteers for a mock disaster drill coming up tomorrow as well. Thank you, everybody, for passing along some of the pictures this morning from Paul Stackpole. Morning glimpse of the moon peeking through some of those clouds and fog around the Cordova area and from around Randolph, Tennessee in Tipton County. A little bit foggy out there from Susie F. Homemaker. A little bit of some very pastel colors coming through the fog. Like to tweet something to us, Aonic underscore WRAG3, and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 when we can. Don't forget to tune in for our weather forecast on the radio throughout the weekend. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll have the complete forecast coming up on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m. There. Don't forget about our weather app as well. Go to the weather store and search WREG. Once again, it doesn't look like severe weather in the Mid-South. It could be the possibility of some isolated areas of activity that could be a little bit stronger, kind of borderline on that. So that's something we will be watching on there. But as of right now, we're just not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of problems in the Mid-South. So good news there. But more chances of <coughs> excuse me, rainfall coming up later on today. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that, please email me at austin.onic at WREG. G.com. We'll have another forecast update for you coming up later tonight online. We're going to be on late tonight thanks to football, so stay tuned for the latest updates online and, of course, on News Channel 3 at WREG.com slash weather and throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 anytime if you've got that channel available on satellite or cable. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day for updates on your weather forecast. Yeah.